welcome to the second video of the series of how it is to be a student in Germany. Uh, if this is your first video, so let me introduce myself first. I'm Mariana, I come from Brazil, I'm 34 years old and I'm a full-time MBA student here at HHL in Leipzig, Germany. So, in the last video, in the first of the series, I jumped right in. I already started telling you where I am right now, telling you that I'm, I'm a second year MBA student and that I'm working as well as at the point of writing my thesis and I gave you too much information. <laughs> but today I think I thought that was very important to go back a little bit in time and give you a little bit of the history behind my decisions. So two points will be the main ones in this video. First of all, why did I choose to come to Germany? Did I already have a history with the country? And second of all, why did I choose to come to HHL and Leipzig? Because both of them are connected. And how was the process of deciding to come here? So yeah, let's jump right in. It may sound a little silly, but it actually my uh, history with Germany started when I was 12 to 13 years old. Me and my best friend at the time, we were this rock metal phase and we started to search some new music and we discovered Hammerstein. If you don't know, I think that's one of the most well-known German bands in history. I would say that at least. At the time, I started researching a little bit about the band and I discovered that they were from Germany and I was like, wow, such an amazing language, so interesting. What is this? <laughs> so I started to look more into it and I was okay, one day I'm going to speak this language. So I would say that my love for Germany started after the love for the language, for the German language. So yeah, that's how everything really started a long, long time ago. And then years later, let's jump many, many years later, I had a chance to move to Portugal. In Portugal, I did my bachelor's and so I already could speak English quite well at the time. So I chose, okay, maybe this is the time. Now is the time for me to learn German, finally. Uh, so I was around 19 when I started to learn German, but I was living in Portugal. So I was speaking my mother language all the time and I only had like two and a half, three hours of German class every week. So I didn't actually have the chance to um, practice that much. So I only knew the basics, but let's jump again. <laughs> Quite a few years later, I was already back in Brazil, already had my bachelor, but I was missing something in my life. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna use this time now to go to Germany and learn this language once and for all. So I had the chance of coming to Germany as an au pair. That was end of 2014, and I stayed here until 2016. So I went from my A2-1 <laughs> German level to C1. In quite, quite fast of a time, I was able to do it like in around seven months but I was doing five, five hours a day. I was living with a German family. I had all the opportunities to learn it very in a very intense way. So yeah, that was my first time living in Germany. And since then, since January 2016, I went back to Brazil again. My, my, this um, program was over. And in 2018, I finally started planning my coming back to Germany as a student this time. But of course, I could not go without stating that the, those are not the only reasons because I lived in Germany and I liked it and I, I loved the language and now I could speak it. Um, if you also stop and you're very critic thinking about it, you see that Germany is one of the most stable economies in the world, not only Europe. They really need labor, especially high skilled labor. And they need younger people coming here because they have a very uh, aging population and they need young people to work so the country can function. So yeah, if you stop and think, you also see that if you come, especially if you come to study, if you don't get a job right away, because some people do, if you come to study, it's 99% of a chance that you're gonna be employed like in a month or even before you finish your program, you're already gonna be employed. So that was also a big reason I chose to come to Germany. So now let me ask other people what they think about Germany and what is the main reason that brought them here. Let's go. Hi everyone, I'm Jitin. 
there are two reasons I came to Germany. One was I wanted to work in Europe and I knew Germany would be the best place to start. And secondly, it was a childhood dream of mine to drive on the autobahn. So yeah, here I am. Hello, good afternoon, guten Morgen. My name is Tung, I'm from Vietnam. Um, the reason for me to come to Germany was I, I want to explore the culture and the language over here. So um, really enjoyed the time so far. Hope to see you here. Auf Wiedersehen. Hi, I'm Una. I'm from Finland and I came to Germany for my Erasmus uh, semester in HHL. <laughs> because of the language, I wanted to learn German and I want to work here in the future, so also that's why. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Hue. I'm from Vietnam. And the reason I choose HHL is because I know that I will meet a lot of new friends who is really inspiring and who is talented, like my friend here. <laughs> Hey, hi, hello, hello everyone. My name is Sadia. I'm from India. So for why Germany? Why not Germany? It's one of the greatest economies, economies in the world. It, uh, here we have the best quality of education. Why not Germany? I just chose Germany. I can find very best options for my employment. So I'm here right now. I'm enjoying and you all can see the snow. I can even experience this uh, wonderful personal life as well. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, today is the official first day that is really, really cold and we have the first snow of the year. This is actually quite surprising because last year we only had a little bit of snow in the, right in the end of the year, end of December. So I'm very, very surprised. I wasn't believing the forecast, but here we are. We have around one degree right now and believe me, it's truly cold, but it's really nice to have this. So oh, even though it's really, really cold, you can see from my nose that it's red, but I'm a Latin American. I'm not used to the snow, so I think it's very exciting. I really, really love it. So I thought about why being inside, if I can just walk outside to answer the second question. Why did I choose to come to Leipzig slash HHL? How was my thought process on this? And yeah, what made me come exactly here? So to answer that, not only was important for me that, of course, Germany is a gr has a great economy, but also choosing the city is as important as choosing the country. For example, if you go to study in Berlin, that is the capital of Germany, and you go to a small city in the south, or even a big city in the south of Germany, it's going to be two completely different experiences. So for me, two things were important when choosing the city. Um, the location, of course, I wanted to be in a smaller town, but also that provide me with everything. But I did also didn't want to go to that big of a city as Berlin or Munich. So Leipzig for me was the perfect solution because it's just one hour away by train to Berlin. At the same time, you have everything here. They call Leipzig the little Berlin. So that has a reason behind it. So that for me was also very important. Second of all was the financial. Of course, not only the school needed to be inside of my, my my finance capabilities that so I needed a city where rents are not that high that you also have student accommodations and um, to make my life easier as well because renting in Germany can be very very tough the whole process of applying and being chosen and everything yeah I will bring a little bit about it in a different video now talking about the school itself for me it was extremely important that the classes size the class size was not that huge i didn't want to go to a course with 100 200 people in my class because i wanted to know everyone in a personal basis and i also wanted a, a university that had a lot of personality that matches my personality i'm very energetic i'm very open and hho always sold themselves as a school that has a very first name basis um, relationship between students and professors, for example. And that's true. That came to be very true now that I'm here. Professors are very open. You can talk to them, them very often. They will always be open to help you with your questions and some problems that you may have along the way. So that for me was very important. But also, um, they call it the HHO spirit. And even before being here, I could already feel it because I started participating in some events, online events, to get to know some universities. And I felt that the way HHL sold themselves was very close to the energy that I was getting from them in these online events 
and how the way the previous um, students or alumni from HHL were talking about their experience, that really sold the thing to me. That was very important. And in the end, I ended up applying just for HHL. I didn't apply for any other university because the size of class, the price, the location, everything matched so perfectly that I was like, okay, this is a sign. <laughs> this is the school that I should apply to. And I was very uh, happy and I was very positive that I was going to be accepted especially because I apply in 2021 and I was already talking to HHL since 2018. So I knew exactly what they were looking for and I thought we were a really good match. So, okay, I'm freezing a little bit. Let's go back inside. <laughs> Super excited about the snow, everyone here as well. I'm not the only, I'm not the only one dumb outside getting cold, everyone is so. <laughs> so we come to the end of another video and I really hope you like it. And I really hope I answered the, the two questions that I had for this video. Why did I choose to come to Germany and why HHL and Leipzig? So next time I'm gonna talk, okay, now that I decided where I want to go, what is the process like? What was the application process for HHL? Every step on the way, I'm gonna tell you how was my experience. I'll also give you some tips about it. So I hope to see you next time and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.